Hello everybody, my name is Solo, and welcome to me dissecting this trailer uh, for all the bits. So, it's weird, because we see a Guardian here, but I don't think this... And if you hear that, by the way, somebody's me messaging me on Messenger. But I think this scene and then the Apple scene take place at two different times. Because I don't think the Guardian would be here during, like, this invasion unless they're saying, oh, hey, some Guardian stayed behind, which maybe would make sense, but be really weird. And then this whole set piece, a lot of people are like, oh, this is a disciple. No, that's 100% the witness just based on the arm thing, because he's done that before where he, like, does, like, the multiple arms and then they collapse, but this time when he does it and it kind of shows you how much power the witness is having now it shows us well first this scene which we saw before in the vidoc but now we have more of a context to it with this still here and i can actually go frame by frame but we get this still here which shows you even more what is going on here with the final shape and what the witness is wanting to do And, like, it's setting him up to basically be a god. And then you see this, which makes you definitely think that this is this is probably going to be a little bit later in the campaign. But it's going to probably show us this to, like, be like, you know, if you do not do this now, you, like, it, it's over. And then, of course, we had the intro. Mara here. I don't know why my thing's not letting me go normally. But yeah, so she can sense that the witness is getting close. And she's here with Ikora and Zavala. And then of course we have the witness here. Then we have this, which makes it seem like uh, either this is before we go into the portal or sometime like after and we're just seeing visions because this is the hard part about how they're presenting the final shape is we don't know what's going to be taking place inside the traveler and what won't be because as far as we know we'll start off by going into the traveler but if this is like in the traveler here i'll go back sorry but if this is in the traveler it's going to be some premonition because you can see in the background a pyramid ship and I think they show this locale a little bit later. But then we have this scene. This scene is nuts. Because if you look, everything's like twisting and then cubing up and like sticking out. Because this is what the witness is doing to like the earth. And then we have this scene, which I'm guessing is going to be probably about, mm, I want to say 75% of the way through just based on everything or it might be at the beginning but you have of course resurrected Cade then you have our guardian to his right Ikora across from Cade and then to Ikora's right you have Crow and then I think to Ikora's left is Zavala I want to say yeah, Zavala is to Ikora's left, which is interesting, right? And then we have, of course, the whole scene of them go, uh, us going into the Traveler. And not, not a lot of people recognize this, or at least from the reactions I saw. So if you guys don't know the reason why I think uh, Zavala is looking down here is because that is Amanda Holiday's scarf on his like pauldron there. Sorry, I don't know why it pulled up. Yeah, but that's Amanda Holiday's like scarf there. And of course you have Ikora and then we have like all the different like shots of the same effect as if you were to look into one of those kaleidoscopes. And then finally, yeah, we have some stills of like some environments. So like, for example, this has what looks like the church from the EDZ 
and then a bunch of cubes. Uh, it looks like an engine. Then a bunch of other like things broken apart, which looks absolutely nuts. And our guardian is the one standing there. And then this one is Crow, and it looks like the last city, and then a broken traveler above. Like, more broken than we, like, used to have it. Like, it looks like it's destroyed. So this could be, like, Crow's Nightmare. And then there's Zavala, who has, as we saw before, the the traveler is like somewhere in the middle here and it'll go up or this is after the traveler rises because there's a pyramid ship that was in the background and you have zavala standing there and then you have this scene where this looks definitely close to the end because of how close we are to this like tower right here which is the thing you see in the distance at the beginning and um, I'm trying to see. Okay, so this is just Crow and Ikora. This we know for a fact is the actual new um, strike lo locale. This is an interesting one, and I'm going to go through what I think this might mean. I think at some point our ghosts are might actually shut off. And the reason why I say this is because like it's only for a few seconds. But like, you go, you go, and then you get, you know, visions of this like ghost breaking, and then it's gone. And th what's the next thing they show us here? That's Zavala's pauldron right there. And then what's right after that? The Ace of Spades. And what's after that? Ikora. What I am predicting, and this is a bold prediction, one of the Vanguard will die by the end of the final shape, if not more than one. And I think that's what they're trying to symbolize or hint to here, is that somebody's losing their ghost, and that's going to cause them to die, like, permanently. And then, I like the symbolism here. With her eye and then like this explosion, right? And then of course we have a lot of Cade talking. And then we have this scene. So this scene looks like he, like Zavala is going to talk to the Traveler. And then gets pulled away by her. The Veiled Lady. Which we're not too quite sure about a lot of things with the Veiled Lady. And then the weird thing here is they get up to this door, right? And this is Cade, Crow, and Ikora back here because, of course, it's something new. And then Zavala's up here just in it, right? And then let's, let's take a look at some of them. Yeah, so as he goes to reach for the door, we get a picture of his wife and then... A picture of someone in a veil a picture or a clip of him going for a hand and then them leaning for or leaning back him keeping going and then makes connection here right and then there's this you want to know what this looks like to me honestly you guys remember the first trailer for destiny where they had all the space gear on that's what that looks like to me. And if you look at the second scene here, it looks like the guy's about to, like, combust. And then we have, yeah, we have this infamous scene, which is Cade seeing himself underneath, like, himself laying on the table from Forsaken. Here we go combusting even more kind of looks like how we might get prismatic maybe but yeah Kay kind of looking at this like image of himself and then this thing of the witness getting mad here we've seen this before when callus 
uh, fucked up. And this is where, like, shit starts to get real, usually, is when the witness starts getting mad. But then, as we start looking, this is really good symbolism, by the way. Because it's like, oh, sunny side, and then all of a sudden, it just changes to darkness. And then it's just this opening and the witness standing there. And then the veiled lady is behind Zavala here. And it is another voice of the witness. And if you notice during this, like the witness's armor in all of this is always like fluctuating, which we've seen. It's kind of like venting, I'm guessing. And then as Zavala gets closer, all of these like veiled ladies like basically just disappear into like a puff of smoke. But as we look, Zavala doesn't seem concerned in this scene. Like, you'd think he'd be more concerned about the fact that the witness was right there. And this is where I think one of our deaths will come from. This is like my wild prediction here. But I think Zavala is going to take the side of the witness and we're going to have to kill Zavala by the end of the final shape. And it's going to be nuts. And it's going to suck to do, especially as a Titan main. Um, but, you know, if it's what we got to do, it's what we got to do. And then then we have this graphic. This, this is a creepy graphic. It's like Zavala with a bunch of hands grabbing at him. And I don't know. I think they're just uh, masked hands or whatever. But they... And then finally, after... Like being grabbed like that. Savala starts to realize, oh, this is a bad thing. And then we have Cade here looking like he's in like some really good light. And then as he turns around, it 100% flips into what I can only describe as the same scenario he was in in the um, prison before he died. Then we get a little bit more of the witness kind of just chilling there in the smoke. Um, Ikora looking already bloodied as looks like an elixni is to her left. Yeah, it looks like a bunch of elixni are here. Uh, the witness doing what the witness does best. This thing scares me. So if you guys... Uh, not a lot of comments on this, like, about, like, this part. But this looks like a Screeb and, like, Fickrel got merged together. And it look like, it looks sick. And I'm predicting that this might be the, uh, one of the bosses. Either one of the bosses or it's gonna be that strike boss. Uh, we have an image here of Crow running. From, I believe, their hands. Yeah. But he's running from a bunch of hands. And Crow is actually right here. This is Cade. And we're going to see a lot of them together, it looks like. Which is really interesting after all the like history these two have been through. But I also feel like Cade is looking to pass the torch. Also, it looks like Cade is like... Oh no, those are just, okay, those are just break marks, and then the hands come through. Yeah, and then of course we have Cade being a badass and, you know, sliding underneath. And then we get to see something cool, which is Crow with Golden Gun. Which is weird, because we've, I don't think we've seen Crow use Golden Gun. So I wonder if we're going to see... Cade teach Crow how to use Golden Gun. That would be an interesting thing. And then you have all these like moving parts. And this is like I'm guessing the witnesses stand where he stands to drain the Traveler. And you want to know what this reminds me of? There's a concept art of somebody like sitting in the middle where all these like uh, armor pieces are. The original concept art for the Enclave. This reminds me kind of like that. But yeah, you can tell that um, the witness is siphoning the light because this is where those like bursts of energy are coming from that we saw in like the ending of 
this season. And as you can see, yeah, see that tower is right there again. And so, yeah, that clip from earlier was definitely later in the game. And then in this scene, it looks like we have Ikora, Zavala, and Cade again. And they're running from something. I'm not sure what... Oh, yeah, and Crow's there. Okay. I'm not sure what they're running from. Then, ooh, and then we have what looks like the scorn with Cade and Crow. And of course they're battling together because they're being badasses. A lot of people are like, oh, what's the exotic hand cannon that Crow is using? I'm pretty sure that's still Hawkmoon. Like, I don't think they gave Crow a different hand cannon. I think he still has Hawkmoon. He has a he has like a different version of Hawkmoon, I know that, because he has a lot of upgrades on it. Then we have this mind, a Vex mind, which we know that the witness gave the Vex a way to make the Black Heart again because of the ending mission of this season. So, yeah, that's that's something. But we see this Vex stuff happening, and here we see more... Sm we see a reappearance of the Smallin down here, and then of course a guy carrying him. And this is what we saw uh, Ikora running from earlier in the trailer, and as she's running, she gets looks like she gets hit in the like in between the shoulder and like the neck, so probably right around where the um, collarbone would be, and then she goes down here. And maybe this is a tease that Ikora... Also, that damage on that cinematic looks sick. Like, cinematics team, hands down, you guys are killing it. 100%. And then... We had the quote, Guardians make their own fate. I'm hoping that... J because that this is like a main thing that Cade has, I hope we get this as an ornament at some point. Like, and I hope it doesn't cost just wishful thinking because i think it's a very cool thing to tie to the final shape and i think it's very cool to see as well but yeah we see Cade here saying that you know i decide my own fate and then we see this which this is an interesting sight and i wonder if it's the reason why the elixni are here because like these are a bunch of like catches and cabal ships and all this stuff so it makes me wonder if like Keitel and those guys are sitting either outside or come into the pale heart because it looks like they're going away from the entrance of the pale heart and then you see the uh what looks like the guardian ship right here so it might be the starting of the like of our invasion into the pale heart Or it might be the starting of an invasion for us. And yeah, I think this is us entering like a main part of the Pale Heart because. Now I want to look at this. Okay, so a lot of people are like, oh, are these guardians? No, I don't think they are because that doesn't look like a guardian, and neither is that or that. And these look like kind of like those helper bots that we've had before. Which kind of makes me a little sad, but it also makes sense. A little bit, a tiny bit. But yeah, and then we keep going. I mean, if it is Guardians, or no, it might be Guardians, because they all, they actually, th these are either Guardians or they're the Hidden, because this kind of looks like someone who would like, because they have Vanguard, like, tech, like the Guardian does, but they kind of eerily look similar to each other a little bit, so it might be the Hidden, actually, and then we see this scene with Ikora, you know, down on the ground and then the ghost healing her 
which of course then she she turns around and nova bombs which is a really cool scene because if you know anything about ikora if you get hit by her nova bomb you're not coming back from it like unless you're a guardian you're not coming back from it And then, so that's, that's like the end of the main part. I do like this at the end. This, like, this just gives me vibes of, oh, hey, remember the original Destiny, um, like, trailers where it always said, become legend, you know? But, yeah, that is my, like, I guess, breakdown of all the things I saw in this trailer. I might have missed a few things. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys did like Hit the like button. I am excited mostly for the fact that um, we're getting just so much shit. And may even all of it probably isn't revealed at all. But yeah. Anyway guys, don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.